Rahman Rahim. Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to continue our lessons. We're going to uh, take uh, module three, three C. First of all, we're going to take uh, grammar. Then we'll move to the writing part. Before we take the grammar, we're going to make a quick revision for the conditional sentences that you take previously. I'm sure that you all uh, know the conditional sentence type uh, one. Let's make a quick revision for it. Uh, the conditional sentence type one, like for example, if I say, uh, if I find her address, I will send her an invitation. So to form the conditional sentence type one, we're going to use F plus simple present, which is find here. Then we're going to use in the second or in the main clause, will and the future, uh, in the future tense. When do we use the conditional sentence type one? Um, to talk about something that is possible and very likely to happen, uh, that the condition will be fulfilled and happen. So to talk about something possible. Um, our lesson today is going to talk about the conditional sentence type two, which is on page 39. So to form conditional sentence in type two, we're going to use uh, in the F clause F plus past symbol verb. In the main clause, we're going to use could or would plus infinitive, infinitive verb. When do we use it? to express something that is unlikely to happen or unreal situation or imaginary situation. Let's see it together in your books, page 39, in the grammar, number three. So the conditional sentence type two, like for example, if Ted had a motorbike, he would ride it to school every day. So in F close, we use the verb in the past tense, simple, uh, simple past. In the second close or the main close, we use would plus verb, infinitive form. The second sentence, if I lived by the beach, I could go swimming every day. In the first sentence or in the F close, we use the uh, past simple verb. Um, the second sentence, the main clause we used could plus infinitive form. Note here, we use F, I wear you to give advice or to express an opinion. So if you want to give someone advice or to express an opinion in unreal situation or imaginary uh, situation you're going to say if I wear you I wouldn't listen to my friends so we use here past simple would an infinitive form of the verb now let's move to the tasks I want you to think now of a situation that is unlikely uh, to happen or unreal situation and try to form your own sentences before we do the task or the exercise. Use the conditional sentence type two. Let's see some examples. If I were you, I would listen to my parents. If I had a lot of money, I would buy a Ferrari. If he had more time, he could learn karate. So all of the, uh, the first sentences, we used past symbol verbs. While the main clauses we use would, could, plus the verb in the infinitive form. Now again, think of a situation at home and use the conditional sentences type two for unlikely, uh, for something unlikely to happen or uh, uh, imaginary situation. Let's go back to the task at page 39. We have here four sentences. We're going to use the correct form of the verbs in brackets to make it in a conditional sentence form type two. 
Let's see the first one. If my best friend <coughs> shouts at me, I feel really bad. So here is the F clause. After the comma is the main clause. As we said, we should use simple present verb or verb in the simple, simple past, sorry, verb. The second sentence we should use would plus verb in the infinitive form. Now let's see the second sentence. If I be, so we should use here uh, one form of verb uh, be, after the comma is the main clause. We're going to put it or to use with it would or could plus the infinitive form. Now, the first one, if I wear you, I would not go. Let's see the third sentence. I try, so we should use here uh, a verb in the, using uh, a would or uh, could, because this is the main clause. We switch the sentences. If clause will be here, and here we're going to use a verb in the past, uh, in the symbol past. So I would try to save money if I wanted to go on holiday in the summer. Let's see number four. My sister would scream if she saw an accident. Notice that number three and four, we switched the places between the F close and the main close. We just changed their places. They're at the second part of the sentence. You, you have more uh, uh, practice at page 159, 161, if you would like to have some extra grammar uh, practice. Now, let's move to the writing part at number six. Our goal here is to learn how to write a letter to a friend asking for or giving an advice. We usually uh, sometimes uh, ask people for advice if we have uh, a problem to choose between two things or in a certain situation uh, or sometimes if we, if, you, if we are facing a problem and we want someone to help us. So, we're going to learn how to write a letter, uh, of course, an uh, informal letter to a friend uh, or to a family member and asking for uh, advice or, let's say, giving him or her advice. Um, to write that letter, we have uh, a certain plan that we should follow. Of course, any letter, we're going to start with the greeting part then the opening paragraph. At the opening paragraph, notice that you have two parts here, two columns. The first one, we're going, uh, uh, there are many expressions where we should use them or we can use one of them uh, if we um, writing a letter asking for advice. While the, the um, column on the right, uh, there are many expressions that we can uh, use them if we are giving advice to someone. So this one is for asking and this one is for giving. So let's see it together. For the opening paragraph, you begin or you should begin a letter and say why you're writing. Why you're writing that letter? I'm writing a letter, for example, uh, to uh, I want, uh, I'm facing a problem and I want your advice regarding uh, that problem. For example, we can say, I have got a problem and I would like your advice. I hope you can help me with a problem. I need your advice because I'm in a trouble. For giving advice, you can say, I was sorry to hear that you have got problems. I hope the following advice will help you and you should give the advice here. Um, I have thought about your problem quite a lot and I've come up with the following solution and you should mention your solution. Now, all of these are uh, or should be in the opening paragraph. Now, the main paragraph or the main part will be uh, explaining the problem and how you feel 
and asking for the advice. You can use phrases like, what should I do? I feel helpless and don't know what to do. For giving advice, you can give your advice and make suggestions to your friend um, using, I think you should do so and so, or you can say, you should not do so and so. Or if I were you, I would do um, something. Uh, I believe it would be a good idea to do so and so. So you're going to give your suggestions here. So all of these should be in the main part of the letter. Now, let's move to the closing paragraph. You're going to state anything you want to emphasize on and end your letter. You can use phrases like, I hope I haven't troubled you too much. Uh, let me know what you think as soon as possible. Uh, I'm counting on you. I look forward to hearing from you. For giving advice, I hope everything goes well. Let me know how everything goes. There is no need to panic. Everything will be just fine. At the end, you're going to sign off your letter by something like, for example, yours truly, uh, and your name. Now, at home, you should write a letter to a friend asking for advice on a problem you have got. Think of a situation, think of a problem that you need someone to help you in, uh, and write about it. You can later on swap the letters with your uh, friend uh, um, and ask your friend to give you the advice. Uh, for your problem. Now we have an example here. Let's see it together. And I want you to notice each part of the letter, the beginning of the letter, the main part, and the closing. Dear Sarah, first of all, I want to thank you for your previous letter. So we start the letter by greetings and thanking for uh, something uh, happened earlier. And I'm happy to hear that you uh, are doing well in your exams. Now, introducing the problem here in the second paragraph, I'm writing to ask you for advice. You are the only person I fully trust and I rely on your experience a lot. My problem, so here in the third paragraph, is the main part, you, you will introduce your problem here. My problem is about my weight. I have never been on a diet and I do not know which to choose and which will not uh, do any harm on my health. I have tried to do some healthy exercises such as playing ball, games and swimming but they are not very interesting to me, and I get bored very soon. I feel helpless and don't know what to do. Notice that this sentence or this expression, we used it from the box uh, of planning in your book, page 39. So again, I feel helpless and don't know what to do to keep fit and healthy. When we close the letter, at the last paragraph, hope your advice will change the things. Write to me as soon as you can. I look forward to hearing from you. Then we ended the letter with yours truly and your name. So as you can see here, all of the words or all of the expressions uh, that are highlighted in blue, um, are used from the plan box in your books. Uh, you can use as many as you can um, uh, and write your own letter for uh, asking for advice from your friend. Now, let's go back to the book. Here you can see the plan and here you're going to write uh, your letter. Now, let's move to the workbook, page 100.
exercise B. We're going to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs and brackets using the uh, conditional sentence type 2. Again, so the verb and the F close should be in the simple past, while the second sentence or the main clause we're going to use could or would plus the infinitive form of the verb which is here in brackets. Now let's see the first example. If my best friend need help, I try to help him. So, if my best friend needed help, we change the verb into the past form because it's the second condition, it's something uh, unlikely to happen. Like, I would try to help him. Let's see the second one, I. So this sentence is going to be the main clause. I tell them everything, if. So the sentence after F is the F clause, so the verb here should be in the past tense, the simple past, while this one uh, should uh, we use would or could plus the infinitive form. So I would tell them everything if I knew the truth. Now let's see three. If I be you, so this is the, the if clause. If I were you, and this is the main clause, I would not go on a trip without asking my parents first. Now you can continue all of the exercises, all, all, all of the sentences later on at home and try to do task C as well. You're going to look at the pictures using the, the prompts below the pictures to form the conditional sentences type two. Let's see number one as an example. We have not lived far from school, walk there with friends. How can we form a sentence using uh, the conditional type, the conditional sentence type uh, two? So we added F at the beginning of a sentence. I did not live because we have not here we added the auxiliary. I did not live far from school. Then the arrow here represents the comma between the two clauses. Walk there with friends. I, because I'm talking about myself here, so I use I. Would, you can use would or could, both of them will be correct. Walk there with my friends. You're going to do the same with sentence two, three, and four. Regarding the letter, you will go to page 101 and use the following sentences to complete the email here. and also the second email. So to complete those two emails, you're going to use the sentences here. Now let's see the first one. Dear Alice, how is everything? I'm not that, that great. Last Tuesday, I lost my new mobile phone. So. What can we put here? If I were you, I would ask her if she could lend you one of her mobiles for a while, so you should not embarrass her. I hope I haven't troubled you too much. I've got a problem and I'd like your advice. Let's see. So we choose D because this is the beginning of the paragraph, asking for advice. So you present that you have a problem and you would like the advice from your friend. So we can say, I have got a problem and I would like your advice. Then present your problem. You will do the same 
at uh, task E on page 102. So what we have learned today at page 39 is the conditional sentence type 2, how to form a sentence using type 2. Then we practice writing a letter, asking for advice or giving advice. I hope that you don't have any question regarding the letter. We have here an example for the letter. You can use it to model your letter.